Hello students. Now today is the third day of chapter five. Admission of partners. Two lectures we have done. Now today third lecture, third number. So now try to understand. Today's lecture is very 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 important because it is somewhat advanced than last two sums. So try to understood and do this. Ah, uh, now again I am not wasting time doing illustration number twenty three. Reading question. Now see. Tarana and Jinisha are partners in a firm. Their balance sheet as on 31-317 was as under. Now sir, after reading this, what we are doing? That is simple. Tarana, Jinisha, write down names of partners. Kalgolan, I don't know till now. Now, going ahead, seeing balance sheet. Don't worry about balance sheet. Checking additional information. They admitted Rihan as a new partner on 1417 on following condition. Now, sir, they admitted Rihan. So, third column is a Rihan column. So, three partners. In future, Rihan will enter in our business. Going ahead, adjustment number one. Rihan will bring 2 lakh as his capital. And 18,000 for his share of goodwill in cash. Any difference in the amount of goodwill is to be adjusted to his capital account. Sir, so now what is the last uh, last sentence? What it means? Difference is adjusted against capital account. What it means? That we will see later. Currently, what we know, Rihan bring 2 lakh rupees. And 18,000 rupees. So, first of all, write down general entry for that particular point. And all of you know that general entry. I am confident about it. So, see here, I am writing general entry. So, first general entry. Capital ring by Pihan. Amount is 2 lakh rupees. So, writing here, cash comes in, cash account. David, sir, how many rupees? 2 lakh rupees. Bring by whom, sir? Sir, new partner, Rihan. So, Rihan's capital account credited to Rihan's capital account 2 lakh rupees. So, sir, first joint entry, clear. Second joint entry, also simple. 20,000 bring. So again, writing 20,000 cash. Cash account debit. Sir, 20,000? No, no, no. 18,000 rupees, sir. So write down 18,000. But this amount is for what? Remember, sir, it's a goodwill amount. Goodwill being in cash. It means premium of goodwill account credited. So here, to premium of goodwill 18,000 rupees. So, this two journal is very easy. Always do it. So, cash account debit in both these situations. If capital bring, capital credited. Goodwill bring, premium of goodwill credited. Now, this goodwill amount, this goodwill amount, we are distributing among the Partners. Which partner, sir? Partner who is sacrificed. To that partner, we are giving this 18,000 rupees. If both partners sacrificing something, then both partners are distributed. 18,000 in their sacrifice ratio. So, for that, we need sacrifice ratio. Yes, definitely we need. But Till this point, no other information I am reading. That's why I don't know how many sacrifice done by which part. So don't worry. Do only this thing. Now laser posting of this. 
कैश अकाउंट डेबिट सो सर कैश अकाउंट डेबिट साइड राइट नेम टू रिहांस कैपिटल अकाउंट सर अमाउंट इज टू लैख रुपीज सेम वे सर दिस रिहांस कैपिटल इज क्रेडिटेड so here what i am writing by cash account and it is the value here 2 lakh rupees so simple one no tension about it don't worry be happy now so first rendi complete its ledger posting also Now second entity cash account debited again cash account debited so here sir cash account debited to premium of goodwill account amount is eighteen thousand rupees now this eighteen thousand we are distributing again to the partners here but 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 in which ratio sacrifice ratio we don't know sacrifice so first of all we need to find sacrifice then after we will do but yes these things are completed premium of goodwill credit here premium of goodwill account we are not preparing so don't write anything for that now going ahead and reading next adjustment any difference is transfer to capital account that we will we will see later Now new profit and loss sharing ratio will be four three three. Sir, new ratio is given four three three. So write down it. Write down four three three is the new ratio. But sir, what about old ratio? See whole sum. There is no information about old ratio. Remember, Partnership Act nineteen thirty two. If no information is given about PNL ratio, take it's a it's a equal ratio, sir. Ji, so two partners are there, one one, and third partner is new partner. So its ratio was zero. Now he will get three rupees, three proportion. So, so old ratio one one zero, new ratio four three three. Sir, now this become easy. Eighteen thousand. How we are distributing in the ratio of sacrifice? So I can find sacrifice by using these two things. So first of all, finding here sacrifice ratio. So writing name first. Tala na. Jirisha and Rihan are partners. Tarana ratio one one zero. Here new ratio is four three three. Now make total one plus one two plus zero. So two make total of this and divide by two, divide by two, divide by two, divide by ten, divide by ten, divide by ten. Now, sir, we need to find sacrifice ratio. Chapter number four, sacrifice means old minus new ratio. So this is my old ratio. This is my new ratio. From old, I am deducting new one. So that I am finding here one by one for all the partners. So first for Tarana, so Tarana's old ratio is one by two. New ratio four by ten. Now one by two minus four by ten, sir. We cannot do directly subtraction. Why, sir? What I need to take LCM. Here LCM is ten. All of you know very well. All of you have a knowledge about it. So don't about don't worry about it. So one upon two minus four by ten. So we can take LCM. But if some students cannot understand how to take LCM, don't worry. 
directly do gross multiplication even then you can get answer very easy you can get answer very very easily so cross multiplication see here 10 ones are 10 minus 4 twos are 8 divide by multiplication of this 10 twos are 20 10 minus 8 so 2 by 20 so it's a sacrifice yes it's sacrifice s old minus q formula plus answer then sacrifice same way sir for Janisha 4 upon 2 new ratio is 3 by 10 again sir cross multiply you can take LCM students who can do some by taking LCM they can do yourself don't worry this method is for all who cannot understand they can do easily in this way that's why I am taking this way. Don't worry about it. 10 was a 10. 8 was a 6. Multiplication of this two, 20. 10 minus 6, 4. 4 by 20. So again it's a sacrifice. So what about new Rihan? Rihan cannot sacrifice uh, 0 by 2. Minus 3 by 10. 10 into 0 is so 0, 2 into 3 is so 6, divide by 10, 20, 10 to the 20, minus 6 by 20, so both are in between, here gain, gain by Rihan, that's why he is bringing goodwill amount, he bring 18,000 as a goodwill, now, so sacrifice made by this tool, now, okay. now tell it, 2 plus 4, so 6. These two partners have sacrificed and gained by third partner, 6 2. So, what is sacrifice ratio? So, 2 ratio 4 because 20, 20, 20 is same. So, we can find 2 ratio 4 is the sacrifice ratio. Now, we can also divide it by 2. If you want to divide, then divide. Otherwise, 2 ratio 4 is the ratio. Don't worry about it. So 2 ones are 2, 2 to the 4. So 1 ratio 2 is the sacrifice ratio. So sacrifice of Tarana and Jini is what? 1 ratio 2. In this ratio, in this ratio, we are distributing this value of goodwill. So this 18,000, we are distributing among the partners in that sacrifice ratio and that ratio is 1 ratio. So writing generality again. The premium of goodwill credited 18,000. Now we are distributing it. So debit it. Premium of goodwill account debited 18,000. Now this 18,000 rupees we are distributing to Tarana and Jinisa's capital account. So Tarana Jinisa's capital account in the ratio of 1 and 2. So, six thousand, twelve thousand. So, this six thousand and twelve thousand we are this. So, in the ratio of one to six thousand and capital account. So, here we are writing six thousand. 12,000 and dash and name of account is by premium of goodwill account but sir tell us if first amount is transferred to capital account adjusted to capital account what it means just me just me we'll see later come don't worry up to this point all of you clear and I am confident these things are 100% clear. If you cannot clear this thing, then read this lecture. Sorry, see this lecture again. Then definitely you will clear this sacrifice calculation as well as this premium of goodwill calculation.
Now, sir, I am clearing God. I know one ratio two is my sacrifice ratio. That's it. And three journal entries are there. That also we know. Now, going ahead, reading next adjustment, sir. Goodwill is to be valued at rupees one lakh. So what it is? Goodwill value one lakh. What is given? It's a new value of goodwill. Now turning point starts in this particular sum. Sir, total value of goodwill is one lakh rupees. So it's a goodwill amount of this firm. Whole firm. Now, how many rupees? This partner Rihan should give for from this goodwill amount. How many rupees Rihan should give from this goodwill amount? Because one lakh rupees is what total amount of goodwill of the firm that is given in adjustment. What is the portion of Rihan? Sir, so Rihan will get three by ten. Rihan will get three by ten. It means from this one lakh rupees also, Rihan should bring three by ten because total is one lakh rupees. From three by ten portion of Rihan, new partner. So new partner should bring three by ten portion of this goodwill amount in the business. So how many rupees, sir? Zero zero cancel. Three one zero three. One two three four. Rihan should bring thirty thousand in business. But sir, how many rupees bring by Rihan? Sir, Rihan bring only eighteen thousand as a goodwill. What should be the amount? Thirty thousand. What is the difference? Find the difference. Make difference of this. Sir, thirty minus today twelve thousand rupees. This amount is pending because as a partners we need to take thirty thousand from Rihan. But he bring only eighteen thousand, so remaining amount twelve thousand. Now that last sentence is for this eight, this twelve thousand rupees. In last sentence, what is given? Any difference in first adjustment? Last sentence. Any difference in the amount of goodwill is to be adjusted to his capital. So here. Total amount of goodwill should be thirty thousand, but eighteen thousand bring twelve thousand is not bring by partner. That is pending. This is the difference, and this difference is transferred to his capital account. So how we are transferring it to its capital account? So for that we have to make one more general entry, which is it? See, twelve thousand rupees. Is debited to Rihan's account. Rihan's account, because he is not bringing. So deduct it from capital. Deduct it from capital. That adjustment is to be given to capital account. So we are doing general entry. Rihan's capital account debit. How many amounts are difference amount, which is not bring by him. That's why Rihan capital account debit by twelve thousand. Now this is again distributed among the partners. So in which ratio we are distributing it? Simple. Same ratio here. Sacrifice. So two. Is this capital account in the ratio of one and two? So distribute it, sir. Don't worry. So four thousand, eight thousand. 
total 12,000. In this way, we are distributing remaining pending amount of goodwill to sacrifice zinc partners. Capital account habit to this capital account to this capital account. Now, laser posting of this. Sir, capital account every day, Rihan. So, Rihan account every day. Which are the names written? Sir, T and G. T is capital. G is capital. T is capital is 4000 only. And G is capital is 8000. So, Rihan capital account every 12,000. 2T, 2G. Tarana, Janisha. Not G, J's, J's. Here also J's capital. Here also J's capital. There are and Jinish. So, this is the situation. Same measure T and G, J, T and J credited. So, T and J account credited with the amount 4000 and 8000. Writing the name. Opposite by Rihan's capital account. So, in this way, three adjustments are clear. Any difference is adjusted against capital account. So, here there is the difference adjusted against capital account. So, this is the new topic in this question. Doing a hit, don't worry. Adjustment number 4. Claim accepted for workman compensation rupees 8000. Now, sir, this is also the extra thing. Claim accepted 8000. Now, see in balance sheet, is there any reserve for compensation? So, if we are seen in the balance sheet, sir, there is one reserve given, workman compensation reserve 12,000 rupees. So, we have a reserve of 12,000 rupees. From that, we can give 8,000 to worker as per the claim. So, what we should do? Now, try to understand everything. So, 8,000 is my liability. From 12,000, 8,000 is my Liability. So, first of all, I am writing here workers claim 8000 rupees. That is my liability because I need to pay. I pass claim of that 8000 rupees. Here, total amount of reserve is 12,000. From we are giving 8000. But what about 4000 rupees? Sir, so that 4000 rupees. We are distributing among the partners because it is not utilized and that is the profit that is distributed. So here we are writing by worker accident compensation fund 4000. So in which ratio we are distributing PNL ratio, old PNL ratio. Sacrifice is considered only and only when we we calculating goodwill otherwise no so old ratio is equal so 2000 2000 and dash going ahead going ahead next adjustment so in next adjustment jinisha will Take over investment at rupees 48,000. Now, Jinisha is a partner. Take over investment 48,000. Now, what is the value of investment given in balance sheet? Sir, in balance sheet, investment is given 50,000. Now, think. Balance sheet, asset, 50,000 rupees given. Now, suppose I am writing here investment 59. Now, investment is taken by Jinisha. 
एट रुपीज फोर्टी एट था सो जिनीशा कैपिटल अकाउंट फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड ना थिंक सर वॉट अबाउट टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड इज दी लॉस बिकॉज इन्वेस्टमेंट वैल्यू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड जिनीशा टेक ओवर एट रुपीज फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सो डिफरेंस अमाउंट इज माई लॉस एंड दिस लॉस means asset decrease happy or sad so sad loss is there sad means revaluation account debited so write down here that loss investment to investment account amount 2000 rupees so other thing also jinisha take over investment jinisha receiver Receiver account debit that we also know. So Jinisha account debit side we are writing here forty eight thousand. Two Jinisha's sorry two investment account. Again I am repeating. Try to understand. Investment value given in balance sheet fifty thousand. Net fifty thousand rupees investment taken over by Jinisha, and giving only forty. It means consider only forty. So debit forty eight thousand to Jinisha's capital account. But two thousand rupees is what loss. Loss is transferred to devaluation debit. So here we are not writing value of investment. That is only for your. explanation because investments are taken over so investment becomes zero in balance sheet from that 48000 debited to jinisha account because amount is considered 48 2000 rupees loss transferred to here so if you are considering only this thing then you can say sir 2000 rupees is debited to revaluation account but one turning point is here also most imp turning point observe your balance sheet very careful we are not need to debit a revaluation account so why loss is transferred to revaluation account but 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 just wait see balance sheet liability side there is given investment fluctuation fund sir now what it means investment fluctuation fund 4000 is given at liability side now what it means why it is utilized when it is utilized why it is created when it is utilized so if investment value decrease then we are using this investment fluctuation fund now here investment fluctuation fund is 4000 rupees we have created and loss is of 2000 so sir sorry we cannot write here we cannot write here investment because we have a fund for investment fluctuation and that is 4000 rupees so from 4000 rupees we are utilizing 2000 rupees for reduction of investment so 2000 even remain and that is our profit because we have assumed 4000 will be the loss But actual loss is two thousand only. So two thousand is the remaining investment fluctuation fund, and that two thousand rupees remaining investment fluctuation fund we are distributing among the partners. So here by investment fluctuation fund one thousand one thousand in the ratio of all of parts all ratio of parts. One thousand, one thousand. Four thousand rupees is investment fluctuation fund. If investment reduce up to four thousand, then we are utilizing this fund. But here only two thousand reduce, so two thousand reduce, two thousand is remaining, and that two thousand, that two thousand, we are distributing among the partners. So in this way, we can distribute it. Now going ahead, going ahead. Try to understand. 
नेक्स्ट सो दिस इज दर्निंग पॉइंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ सर अक्रूड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड इज नॉट रेकोडेड नाउ अक्रूड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड इज नॉट रेकोडेड सो हैप्पी सर वी नीड टू टेक इंटरेस्ट सो यर अक्रूड इंटरेस्ट happy as an increase so right happy side by accrued interest account simplest one going ahead next adjustment bills payable drawn by creditor for rupees 10000 is accepted but not been recorded in the books of account now bills payable drawn by creditor it means i have to pay something to creditor and 10000 rupees bills payable i accepted but not written so don't worry in balance sheet creditors are given 30000 so first of all i am writing here creditors 30000 from this creditors 10000 rupees Creditors are converted in, into bills payable, so ten thousand rupees creditors reduce. It is converted into bills payable, so ten thousand reduce outer column twenty thousand, and bills payable increase. So what is the value of bills payable? Sir, nothing is given. So bills payable we are writing here. Bills payable. Ten thousand rupees. So here, no matter about happy and sad, just conversion of creditors into bills payable. Ten thousand rupees creditors are converted into into bills payable. Nothing else. So no happy, no sad. Going ahead. Don't worry, sir. Book value of land and building is. Twenty percent less than the market value. Most IMP point in the book, whatever given is twenty percent less than market value. So, book value of land and building given in balance sheet one lakh rupees. I'll try to understand land and building in the book. Given one lakh rupees, and this book value is twenty percent less than market value. That is given in adjustment. Twenty percent less than market value means this is twenty percent less. Market value we don't. We don't know market value, but from market value this is twenty percent less. So suppose we are assuming. Market value is hundred. Direct twenty percent from this market value. So land and building here eighty percentage. So this one lakh rupees is eighty percentage amount. Again, book value is less by twenty percent. So what is given in book that is twenty percent less. So hundred is given. Suppose market value twenty less and eighty is my book value. Now we can compare this. For eighty, value is one lakh. So for hundred, what should be value of market? So eighty here, one lakh, hundred. How much? How many rupees? So cross multiply hundred into one lakh divided by eighty, sir. In this way, I can find market value of this land and building. So, if you are calculating in this way, you will find value of market one lakh twenty five thousand rupees. So, this one lakh twenty five thousand rupees is the market value. So, here land and building. One lakh rupees is given. 
मार्केट वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो प्लस इंक्रीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड आउटर कॉलम वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सर हैप्पी टेन इन बिल्डिंग वैल्यू इंक्रीज हैप्पी मीन साइड ऑन ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज है बाय लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग अकाउंट so this is the most imp calculation in book less given so if market value 100 book value minus 20 then book value is 80 then we can find other value next doing a head out of insurance premium paid 12000 is to be carry forward to next year now sir happy Next PS insurance premium is already paid, so we can write here prepaid insurance. Now, what is the value of insurance for next year? Twelve thousand prepaid, twelve thousand rupees. Now going ahead, so twelve thousand rupees is the insurance premium prepaid. Happy, happy means carry it. Prepaid insurance premium. You have to write full name. Sir, going ahead. Prepare revaluation account partner capital case. Blah 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 blah. Complete. Now, sir, what is the most I am paying? Now, see balance sheet. What is remaining? Sir, first of all, goodwill is given fourteen thousand. Don't worry. Distributed among the partners, whatever given in balance sheet. So here we are distributing goodwill. So. In which ratio? So this goodwill is distributed in old ratio because it is given in balance sheet. So Tarana and Jinisha goodwill that is given asset side asset means debit that distributed to debit side. Tarana and Jinisha equal ratio. So what is the value of goodwill? Fourteen seven thousand seven thousand. Yes. Going ahead. So land building return completed. Machinery so not return. Write down. Don't worry. Machine eighty thousand. Write down machine eighty thousand. So investment. So investment zero. Investment becomes zero. Taken over by partner. So data is seventy thousand. Write as it is. It is seventy thousand. Stock thirty six thousand. Stock thirty six thousand. Next, sir, cash balance. Bala bidi, sir. Here cash account. Opening balance we have to write a head. So, sir, there is no place. Don't worry. Writing here. Balabdi. Cash and bank account. So, what is the amount of cash? Forty thousand rupees. Write down forty thousand. Going ahead. Research and development expense, profit and loss account, both are given, sir. That are fake assets, fictitious assets, distributed among the partners. Sir, so debit side given, distributed debit side. So write down research and development expense and PL account. Going profit and loss account. Research and development expense is eight thousand, four thousand, four thousand. We are distributing. PNL account is given ten thousand, five thousand, five thousand. We are distributing in over ratio. Simplest one, going liability side, asset side completed. So liability side capital is given. Tarana Jinisha one ninety one twenty one. Bala Vedi. So Tarana Jinisha. Bye. Bala Vedi. What is the value? One ninety 
Because compensation paid and four thousand we have distributed among the partners. Here, carry it side. Now, sir, investment fluctuation fund four thousand. So investment also calculated. Provident fund, sir. Provident fund is the liability. So write down as it is. Provident fund is the liability that cannot be distributed among the partners. Sixteen thousand rupees. So write down sixteen thousand here as it is liability. Going ahead, better result. Sir, from data, better result is deduct. So there is two methods. If you want to deduct, then deduct it. If you want to write as it is here, then you can write as it is here also. Better result as it is. Twenty thousand rupees. Going ahead, creditors. Sir, write down creditors already written. Outstanding expense. Sir, write down outstanding expense. Outstanding expense amount is fifteen thousand rupees. Fifteen thousand rupees. Sir, complete hundred percent complete. Now only closing of account is remaining. So closing the accounts. First checking it. Sir, six thousand twenty five thousand and twelve thousand is given. Total of this forty three thousand. Yes, sir. Write down it. Here also forty three thousand. Sir, balance forty three thousand. This is distributed among Tarana and Jinisha. So Tarana and Jinisha capital account equally distributed. We get we have to distribute equally. So twenty one thousand five hundred. Twenty one thousand five hundred distributed here. Bye. Devaluation account from devaluation account it is transfer. Sir, close cash account also. First of all, we are checking it. Forty thousand, two lakh, eighteen thousand. Yes, sir, perfect. Two fifty eight thousand. So balance is. Bala, CD. This transfer debit side. Sir, debit side is here. So right here. Cash and bank, whatever is given, two fifty eight thousand. Sir, closing of this account also, making total of this. But first of all, we are finding is there any mistake or not? One ninety, two thousand, one thousand, six thousand, four thousand, twenty one five hundred. Perfect, sir. Eight, twelve, one thousand, two thousand, one twenty one. Perfect. Two lakh. Perfect. Now debit sides. Debit side seven four five. Forty eight seven four five. Perfect answer, sir. If we are making total of this, so total of Tarana is two twenty four five hundred. Two twenty four five hundred. So next total of one sixty five five hundred. Jinisha. One sixty five five hundred. Next two lakh rupees. Rihan. So two lakh rupees here. And same amount is written here. Two twenty four five hundred. One sixty five five hundred. Two lakh. Deduct all the things, and we are getting Bala Siri. So Bala Siri amount is we are writing that is two zero eight five hundred. So two zero eight five hundred for Tarana for Jinisha one zero five five hundred one zero five five hundred for Rihan sir for Rihan one eighty eight thousand one eighty eight thousand transfer cross credit side but credit is here so writing here capital Tarana Jinisha and Rihan capital so capital of these three partners. Two zero eight five hundred. 
And if we are making total of this three, so sir, total of this three is four ninety eight thousand. Or make total of both these sides. You will get answer five eighty seven thousand. And just checking it. Don't worry. One twenty five. Okay. 80 okay 70 okay 36 okay 258 okay 6 okay 12 okay perfect left side 498 8000 16000 20000 10000 20000 15000 so, so total will be 587000 587000 now our sum is 100% complete this much long sum will not in your examination but important for Somewhat points, this points, this calculation, this calculation. That point is very important. Again, we'll see in next lecture with different topic. Bye bye.